I'm Cara Suboy, CNETnews.com. I'm here at Intel's Research Day in Mountain View, California. There are 75 booths here, each showing off projects in various stages of research. But we've selected the top group with technology that you may be able to use sometime soon. Let's go check it out. What we'd like to build is a general purpose robot. We're focusing on an anthropomorphic robot, one that looks like a human arm, so that it can perform all the tasks that you can perform in your home. This robotic arm from Intel's collaboration with Carnegie Mellon University works on new algorithms for motion planning and manipulation. It's got a, a pair of cameras in its palm, so it's like it's got eyes in its hands, and it's looking for these black plastic mugs and it doesn't know where they are, so it's searching for them first. In this example, after locating a mug, grabbing it, and properly placing it in the rack, it can also communicate to humans when it's time to empty it. We're kind of pushing the frontiers of robotics research. From a robotic arm to robotic fingers. There are some electrodes at the fingertips, uh, and that's what's, what's new about this, is applying this sensing method to robotic hands. People haven't done that before. These sensors allow the robotic fingers to detect an object without touching it. That's allowing the hand to kind of shape itself to the object without touching it, and uh, get ready to grasp it. In a bad configuration, it says, I can't grab that. We think that the ability for a robot to move around you know, a home-type environment and pick up arbitrary uh, objects uh, will be really enabling and will create a lot of new possibilities. Traditionally, robot hands are very stiff, and fast, and powerful. And, you know, fast and powerful is great, but we really want to make robot hands that are compliant and act more like our hands do. From the same Intel Seattle team comes this other variation of robotic fingers. Instead of using traditional uh, actuation technologies, we've come up with this thing called series elastic tendon. And uh, I mean, basically what it is is an actuator that works like a human tendon in a hand. Would. By giving the hand greater control of its movements, researchers say it could one day be used in surgery. But don't expect it in your operating room anytime too soon. We just put this together like a night ago. Here's an application dubbed the Mood Phone that helps users chart their moods and their health on a touchscreen smartphone. It's a way of kind of... Um, using technology to help people become more emotionally intelligent. Margaret Morris, a trained clinical psychologist and now an Intel researcher, calls it the psychologist in your pocket. It's asking you to touch the phone and say like, okay, you know, are you like really happy? Are you just kind of in a neutral mood or sad? And then based on where you, what you say, it will, you know, offer you some mobile therapies. Examples are breathing visualization and body scan exercises, or even photos or images from your own collections that can help relax you. What's really quite magical for people is to, to see these patterns and they become this sort of a scientist or an investigator of their own mood. Whether it's your eating habits, moods, or energy levels, the program will graph your data to detect trends. This next project is designed to help dermatologists identify cancerous moles. So this is technology to help us to determine if a mole on a patient is concerning and needs to be removed, or equally importantly, if it's benign and is okay to be left on. I volunteer my own mole as a demonstration. So we're going to look at this mole with a special tool called a dermatoscope. It will take a high resolution picture of my mole, showing detail not visible to the naked eye. Once the image enters the database, doctors can search other images and diagnoses for comparison. We can say, find me things that have a similar texture and um, maybe some of the same colors and then we'll search and see what we find. So we want to not only detect melanoma early but also save patients from unnecessary biopsies. What do you say? Clean bill of health for my mole here? <laughs> so far so good but wear your sunblock. Sound advice. Thanks doc. I'm Cara Suboy, CNETnews.com.